Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my makeup collection. It's been requested quite a bit, um, so here we go. This is what I keep my makeup in. Um, I don't like it if I'm honest with you, it's just a plastic kind of container thing. I really don't like it, but hey ho. This is from Asda. Um, they come in one big one and two smaller sections, but I've kind of arranged them so the big drawers at the top and then another big drawers at the bottom, which you can't see yet because it's not in view and then the smaller ones are in the middle. That's just the way I like it, you can rearrange them whatever way you like to do. So in the first drawer I keep my foundation and everything that's on my like face really, like as a base. In the back here you can just see that I've got here, I've got some foundations. Um, I also keep BB creams on tinted moisturisers in the back. I've just got some Revlon ones here at the front. Um, some Maybelline one, Rimmel, Maybelline, Rimmel and Revlon the ones I've got in there at the moment and then I've just got some foundation wedges at the side here and then in these next two things, oh yeah by the way, by the way these are um, what do you call them, takeaway dishes from like Chinese and stuff so if you, I don't want those, I just wash them out and then put my makeup in I've just got in this container here I've got concealers and stuff so I've got and um, primer, I've got one primer there from 17.2 so I've got collection, concealer, a Rimmel one, this is a L'Oreal highlighting one and then at the top here this is like not even a concealer it's a um if I can do this with one hand hang on this is actually a green concealer it's from Natural Collection and it just basically tries and hides any redness that you've got but I don't think it really works to be honest there, there we go so Rimmel, like I said, MAC powder, which I got at IMATS. Um, I've got a Revlon one underneath there. And Maybelline Fit Me as well. So that's all the powders I have. Then in the next drawer, I just keep blushes and highlighters and bronzers and all sorts of things like that. Um, here I've just got MAC blushes. I love my MAC blushes. I've only got two though. I've got an accessorised one here. I've got a bouncy blush from Maybelline. They're not actually out in the UK, but I got one from my friend in America and what's this collection 2000 shimmer shades so I've got those and then in the back here I've just got some like elf things an MUA blush L'Oreal what's this blush highlight and bronzer duo and I've got some number seven things back here I've got the Benefit Sunbeam highlighter I've got the MAC highlighter I love this this is the um, soft and gentle one it's brilliant and then I've got the NARS um, Laguna bronzer, brilliant stuff. Got Wet n Wild bronzer and the chocolate bronzer from Bourjois, which is also really nice. In the third drawer, I tend to just keep mascaras and eyeliners and other bits to do with the eyes, really. Um, I haven't got too much in this drawer to be honest, I probably should have another tub for mascaras, that's overflowing a little. But um, as you can see from the top, I've just got a lot of Maybelline ones, Makeup Forever, which I got at IMAX as well, which is out, not in, it's still in the box because I don't want to use it yet. I've got a Rimmel one there, got a little um, Benefit there Real, um, L'Oreal mascaras. I love my Maybelline mascaras, I think they're really, really good. Um, another L'Oreal down there, Urban um, Decay. Um, yeah, that's about it in there. It's an accessorise at the bottom as well. So I've got all of those, and then eyeliners, I've just got, well these are just every eyeliner under the sun. It's like coal eyeliners, um, liquid eyeliner. I also keep my primer potion in here just because I remember it's in there then. Um, my favourite eyeliner, liquid one anyway, L'Oreal, love that. And then gel eyeliner, Maybelline, I love this stuff, it's brilliant. Just got some coal eyeliners, like this one from NYX as well. Just random eyeliners in there, just every brand really, Rimmel, Surfing Glory, L'Oreal, Model Zone, Barry M, things like that. Also got some American ones in here, these are coloured ones so these are from, what brand is this? Essence? These are really cool, retractable ones. And then in the back here I just keep some eyebrow stuff so I've got the MUA Clear Brow Set Gel thing, an e.l.f. eyebrow duo which I don't really use anymore but it was good when I did use it and I got some lashes in there from Primark which I still need to practice with but haven't had the chance to yet. In the fourth drawer down I just keep lots of eyeshadows, um, these tend to be my single eyeshadows or eyeshadows like this that are in trios 
like this MUA one. I've also got a Wet n Wild one here, which is nice. Um, this Lancome one I got for my birthday, that's just a duo. I keep some cream eyeshadows back here that I don't use very often. These, This is the Collection Cream Eyeshadow. These ones are from Essence, which are a bit like Maybelline Color 24 Hour Tattoos, but a bit not as good, if you know what I mean. They dry out a lot quicker. Um, so here I've got my four cream eyeshadows from Maybelline. They're the 24 Hour Tattoo ones. I've got Charcoal, I think it is, or something like that. Um, what color is this? Eternal Gold, um, Permanent Taupe, and On and On Bronze. And then here I've got a MAC eyeshadow, which I won't put in my palette because it's a bright colour. This one's actually cranberry, if anybody does want to know. Um, and my palette's going to be a neutrals palette, so I didn't want to pop that in. I've got a MAC paint pot here in Bayer Study, love that. And I've got my Chanel cream eyeshadow that I bought the other day in Emma Vale, or Emma Vale, not sure how to pronounce it, still don't know. It's really, really nice, I love that. And then over here I've just got some single eyeshadows, these are the Stila ones which are really nice, I've got Natural Collection which are also quite good, just not as pigmented or strongly pigmented as I would like. Um, got some pigments here which I probably will never use because I just don't find the time to use them. But I've got some NYX ones, Barry M, Model Zone, things like that. In the fourth drawer here I just keep all my palettes. Um, I've got lots of palettes, I've got the Naked palette obviously, everyone's got that. I've got my MAC palette which is um, to be built this year. I've only got four eyeshadows in there at the moment. Um, so yeah, but that's going to be my neutrals palette. I've got my Inglot quad in here. I've got another Urban Decay palette. This is the Ammo palette, I think. Um, an Elf palette down here. Fashionista palette, Collection 2001. I've got an Ulta palette here with the circles on. Sleek palette. Got some MUA ones here as well, which I used to use all the time before I got my Naked palette. I used to love those, but obviously I don't use those as much now because I use my Naked palette instead. Um, yeah, those are the palettes I've got. Now this drawer, sorry, I know every different bits are going to be in focus and whatnot because they're all at different heights and levels, but hopefully you get the gist of the drawer. Um, to use for compartments here, I didn't use takeaway boxes. I used a box I actually made in school when I was younger. And this um, kind of gift box box I got for a birthday once, I just shoved all of my lip products in it. So in this one here, I've just got loads of lip glosses from various different brands. I love Barry M lip glosses, they're my favourite. Um, I've got here some Apocalypse from Rimmel as well. I've got some Rimmel lip stains and UA lip gloss there. I've got some Revlon lip stains as well. And lip glazes, this one's from Stila, got some chewy things like from Clinique and stuff. I don't use those though very much. Um I've got these Revlon just put in kissable balm stains. I absolutely love those. I've got three colours in there. I've got a lip pencil in there from Model Zone, an elf matte lip crayon. Love these. I've just ordered some more from Elf because they got 50% off at the moment. Um I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up, but if it's up before the 3rd of July everything on the elf website is actually 50% off so definitely go and check it out if you want to make a purchase so yeah i really like those i've got some what's these the basically the dupes of the ysl i've forgotten the names you know those glossy stain things um more lip glosses here i've got l'oreal lipsticks there revlon lip butters Rimmel lipsticks, um, got my MAC one there, Stila one, uh, ELF one which I don't use anymore, more Rimmel, Maybelline, I've got loads of Rimmel and L'Oreal, I just love their lipsticks, they're really really good. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh yeah, the other section is my lip balms, um, love Live My Lip Balms, I love Nivea lip balms, they're my favourite, um, I also love this Nivea lip butter lip balm, it's really really good, I love it. EOS ones, they're not amazing but they're okay, they're cute looking. Carmex, also love this one, this cherry one from Carmex. I use this every single night. I don't usually keep it in here, obviously I keep it on my desk, but for the video I just popped it in here. Um, also really like this one, this is a cocoa butter one, lip butter, I love this, it's amazing stuff. And yeah, that's basically it for my actual makeup collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection. I'm really sorry about the appearance. I have no makeup on. It's like I want to hide myself. But um, you've seen me without makeup before, so it's okay. 
Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I just thought it'd be better to me to do the outro actually on screen while you can see me rather than just seeing my lovely collection here. I don't keep it here either. I just thought the lighting's better here than in the corner where it's usually kept. So um, that's my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.